Okay, hello everyone. My name is Mark Petrucci, and we're going to get started here in just a minute. And Zach, I'm ready when you are. All right, good deal. And uh, hello, everybody, and uh, welcome to today's webinar: Powerful Construction and Workflow Solutions. Uh, this webinar is brought to you by Lab Live Lab Learning, which is a subsidiary of Academic Corp. A uh, wholly owned applied software company uh, created to provide world class training. Uh, this is Zach Spillers, and I'm delighted to be your moderator today. And uh, throughout our presentation, we do encourage you to interact with us by typing in questions and comments using the questions pane. And uh, we will be answering questions at the end of the presentation as well. So uh, this webinar is being recorded and also will be available to you online or on our YouTube channel. Um, and if you haven't already, search Live Lab Learning on Facebook and like our page to receive the latest information and special offers. And uh, when you visit our website, livelablearning.com, uh, there is a complete schedule of the up upcoming trainings as well. And um, please take note of our upcoming events. Uh, BIM and Beers have been really good for us and have been a lot of fun for uh, some of our people that have been coming. So we have those coming up in September uh, 30th in 2015 in Atlanta at uh, Monday Night Brewing. We also have one on October 8th uh, in Philadelphia at uh, Second Story Brewery in Philadelphia. And then we also have a construction executive roundtable on October 6th in uh, Arlington, Virginia at top of the town. And also we have upcoming webinars as well. We have a BIM facilities management, a primer for higher educational excuse me, uh, institutions. Uh, that's Wednesday, September 16th of 2015 uh, from 1230 to 1:30. And then we also have a building design suite for construction teams on October 27th, which is a Tuesday, and that is from 1230 to 1:30 p.m. as well. And um, today's speaker, as you just heard, is Mark Petrucci. Uh, I'll give you a little background on him. As you see, he's got a BS in civil engineering uh, from Rod Rochester Institute of Technology, uh, 25 years of experience in the space. And uh, he's been with us for quite a while and is, and is very valuable, and he's a senior AEC application specialist for Applied Software Technology Incorporated in the following areas, uh, Autodesk Building Construction Specialization, Autodesk BIM 360 Advisor for Technical, Autodesk Consulting Certification, and Autodesk Revit and AutoCAD Certified Professional. And uh, I'm going to let him take it from here, and uh, you guys enjoy the webinar. And I'll be here to answer questions at the end. Great. Thanks, Zach. Good morning and good afternoon, depending on where you are in the country. My name is Mark Petrucci, and uh, as Zach had said, I'm the director of the Construction Technology Group at Applied Software. The title of today's webinar is Powerful Construction Workflow Solutions. We'll keep this presentation high level as we can spend one hour on any single Autodesk solution. We'll focus on BIM 360 and the different solutions available to our customers. While many of the solutions appear to focus only on construction at the field, they can also be utilized during design as well as after commissioning and handover. So we'll take a look at each of these solutions. But first, let's discuss some common misconceptions about BIM 360. Since Autodesk first launched BIM 360, we've generated a list of numerous misconceptions about the platform. This slide shows several of the most common misconceptions that we hear about on a consistent basis. In fact, none of these are even remotely correct. So during this presentation, I'll dispel many of these misconceptions and provide you with a clear understanding of what BIM 360 is all about. So what is BIM 360? In short, BIM 360 is Autodesk's cloud and mobile platform for construction. The platform spans from pre-construction to construction execution and onto commissioning and handover phase. While BIM 360 glue, BIM 360 layout, field, plan, and building ops can be considered point solutions aligned to specific phases of construction, you can think of them as elements of functionality connected by a common cloud database. 
And because BIM 360 platform is connected via a common cloud database, that means your construction data can be exchanged between other BIM 360 products without cumbersome file exports and time-consuming preparation. So one reason to use BIM 360 is to accelerate project delivery. Because all project-related drawings, models, and data are in the cloud, BIM 360 enables anytime, anywhere access to the project data. What good is information if you can't share it, though, and if you can't share it easily? Again, all the project information is in the cloud, so that BIM 360 can deliver information easily for consumption by anyone on the project. It connects multidisciplinary project teams across architecture, engineering, and construction. We'll see later how teams from different disciplines or offices can easily coordinate their project data with the rest of the team. And we already know that the data is in the cloud, but we'll see how we can easily share the data from start to finish. I have a great video at the end of my presentation showing you Autodesk Building Ops and how it uses data collected during the construction process. And finally, the, the most reliable method of future planning is to look at the past. And with BIM 360, it provides you a method for analyzing the data for future planning and execution. So how else can you benefit by deploying BIM 360? Well, deploying BIM 360 has the following benefits. There are numerous case studies showing how projects are completed at or under budget. As part of the project, contractors need to manage the people and equipment. With BIM 360, you can better plan deployment of contractor assets. And projects completed on time and on budget means increased efficiency for you as the contractor. Of course, we don't want to sacrifice quality just to complete projects on time. So you, don't, you do not have to sacrifice construction quality. So let's just talk about risk for a moment. We know that 90% of risk is during the construction execution, but only 10% of technology is actually purchased for use in the field. BIM 360 helps to minimize your risk in key areas. With customer satisfaction, we can reduce the risk of client dissatisfaction. With cost, we can build more reliable project work plans to help reduce waste associated with overproduction or excess inventory and task rework. With quality, we can reduce the risk of poor finish or build quality. With time, we can reduce the risk of project delays. And with safety, we can reduce the risk of personal injury and company liability. And finally, with data reliability, we can reduce the risk of data storage, maintenance, as well as data being compromised. Protecting project information that is gathered and compiled is high priority. And we spoke of the cloud earlier and reliability. And Autodesk enterprise level hosting and data structure guarantees that uptime, no matter the number of concurrent users, it guarantees data redundancy and failover. The database is always up. And it guarantees backup and storage. Your data is always safe. This slide is just as important to your IT group as it is to your construction team and your construction company. As you probably know, one of the hardest aspects of understanding and articulating your project performance comes down to a simple question. How do I better understand the metrics around the scope of work we executed compared to what was originally planned. The knowledge gap between what was originally planned to what was executed in our industry is vast. So the tools, the current tools outside of BIM 360 that we can use to track and measure and execute across a project today makes it hard to collect that information, let alone use it for analysis. However, the products within BIM 360 platform help to align your understanding of planned performance by tracking and exposing details that can be analyzed and shared to utilize in the future. Here's an example of the data collected for aligning your plan to performance. Here's a screenshot with, within BIM 360 Fields Reporting Engine that helps tie managing risk by connecting the office and the field while providing reporting to executives and project managers to understand access of project performance.
This is a really good example of a dashboard inside a field. And quickly by scanning this, I could see how many safety issues I'm tracking. I could see how many issues, uh, which companies have the most issues, or at least the top five. And I'm not going to read this entire slide, but basically the accumulation of detail to manage on a vertical construction project, it grows exponentially the further along the schedule progresses through the various phases. Again, from pre-construction all the way through commissioning and, and handover. And for the last 10 to 15 years, our industry has focused on managing the detail within the planning and coordination phases. However, we're missing the opportunity to ma manage the data as it matures and grows in the execution and commissioning phase at the actual point of work. So BIM 360 as a connected cloud and mobile platform allows all the rich data captured during the coordination phase to flow and gain additional detail in the execution phase and also throughout the commissioning and handover phase, phase with field and building ops. Because the BIM 360 platform is connected via a cloud database, again, that means all your data can be exchanged very easily. And best of all, the data can be shared instantly across your project team, either through a web browser or through an iPad in the field. And here are some customer, customer metrics that I wanted to point out with Skanska. Efficiency or waste reduction study using BIM 360 field for the duration of one year across 15 Class A commercial construction projects, they realized 9 point hours per, per user per week of time savings. With Clayco, they utilized BIM 360 field and BIM 360 glue on a multi-year Class A commercial construction project in Chicago, and they estimated they saved 1.2 hours per issue. With Barton Marillo, metrics connected on Severstall Dearborn plant using both BIM 360 field and glue, their concrete layout prep was 88% faster. And with Van Wijenen, a large general contractor in the Netherlands, they utilized BIM 360 field on a large multi-unit housing complex, and they advanced their project schedule by 50%. Similarly, with Bond Construction, they utilized BIM 360 field on a large pipeline maintenance project in upstate New York, and they noticed an advanced project schedule by 25%. So before we move on to the specific BIM 360 services, let's just look at this from a general contractor's point of view and a subcontractor's point of view, and some typical challenges that each have seen or faced. So with the GC owner or executive, we need a better way to contain our cost cash flow, our costs or cash flow while delivering the project on time to our client. Well, with the Autodesk BIM 360, it provides transparency of project data and project data's best practices and insight into metrics that can be leveraged for future projects. This helps to connect what was planned to what needs to be executed. As for the project manager, my crew spends a great deal of time walking back and forth to the job trailer and delivering and collecting information. Well, with Autodesk BIM 360, this helps keep the project on schedule by allowing project stakeholders to, to collaborate and execute field data collection activities in, a real, in real time with less errors. For the field superintendent, Corners are being cut with our safety programs because the information is unorganized and hard to share across the team. Well, with BIM 360, we can help mitigate safety risk by helping to ensure daily task execution by field crews is completed and document on time without delays. And finally, with our VDC manager, I can't keep the project stakeholders up to speed on changes in the model fast enough. Well, with Autodesk BIM 360, it helps to coordinate the project models across various project stakeholders faster and with less errors. So let's now take a quick look at how BIM 360 benefits subcontractors, and there's some similarity, but we'll review the benefits of each product after that with BIM 360. Okay, so as for the subcontractor, they have similar challenges, and here are a few that you've probably heard of. 
we need a better way to contain our cost cash flow while delivering the project on time to our clients. Very similar to what we saw with the GC. With the project manager, we're consistently one step behind the GC due to managing schedule updates and resolving issues and change orders. Well, with Autodesk BIM 360, we can help keep the scope of work on schedule by allowing our field teams to collaborate and execute field data collection activities in real time with less errors. For a field engineer, transferring point detail from the office to the field for use in our total station controller is cumbersome and time consuming. Well, with BIM 360, this allows you to save time and money by easily verifying where the subs are staking layout points before components are installed and change orders are issues for incorrect placement. And for the BIM manager, I can't easily update our detail models with the project model and expose to the project team. With Autodesk BIM 360, it helps to connect our detailed CAD or Revit files to the project model for easy coordination while exposing updates to the general contractor. Each of these product functionalities within BIM 360 help to reduce or eliminate your time challenges. So let's spend some time quickly reviewing the benefits of each product within the BIM 360 platform. So let's first take a high level look at BIM 360 Glue. BIM 360 Glue is our cloud and mobile BIM management and collaboration product that connects the entire project team. Its primary function, it streamlines the BIM project review and coordination workflows. So how does BIM 360 Glue streamline the project and review, project review and coordination process? Well, BIM 360 Glue provides one click to BIM collaboration. It provides simple tools that empowers the team to check their own work like they check the weather. What makes the coordination process powerful is its integration with AutoCAD, Revit, Navisworks, and 50 plus other file formats. With BIM 360 Glue, I can access my model on a mobile device or on a desktop. For those contractors currently using Navisworks Manage, you can use Glue with Navisworks to do all the same clash detection you've always done, but now with Glue, you can bring your model to the field. And for those contractors who only need to focus on clash detection, markups, and red lines, but don't want to use Navisworks, Glue gives you the same capabilities with an easy-to-use interface. This slide walks us through the current way of doing traditional coordination using Navisworks. So this slide, it's very familiar workflow for enterprises and projects that have various model files, model files represented here by people in their discipline that they need to coordinate. Typically during a construction project, a BIM manager has the role of taking everybody's files and merging them together. Then the, then the team must resolve the conflicts or clashes between their model elements. Here's a look at the workflow as illustrated and how it exists today. So, on Monday, the BIM manager must wait for the structural engineer, the architect, the MEP engineer to provide him or her files. Typically, that's done via FTP, but he must wait for those files to get uploaded to FTP site, then the BIM manager has to spend time downloading those files. Then he'll spend hours merging those files together and generating reports, which he'll then will distribute to the other team members. So on Tuesday, the structural engineer receives a clash detection report and the MEP engineer receives a clash detection report. They start to begin their process of resolving the clashes and then they return their updated models to the BIM manager on, on different days and once the BIM manager collects all the files, again, start the process over again, merge them and generate reports which then will distribute again to all the different team members. Now while 50 clashes may have been resolved by the structural engineer and 50 by the MEP engineer, it could be that another 50 were created because they were, mo they were updating their model independently. So this is where glue comes in. In BIM 360, 
glue enabled process, there's no more sending around the files. No more do I have the right version. There's one model in the cloud or each, each uh, discipline has one model in the cloud that the entire team interacts with in parallel, not in a serial process of handing off files from one person to another. So now that it's all in the cloud, the BIM manager is no longer the bottleneck in the process. Each party can work as needed. The result, the team finishes a day earlier, maybe Thursday instead of Friday, Friday, and they have fewer issues to resolve because they are resolving issues daily and everybody's updating their model daily. This means shorter coordination meetings overall, shorter overall time to getting a more coordinated model and an overall increase in quality. Glue is a collaborative BIM management solution, so this is one part of the overall value, but it demonstrates how it can help derive value, valuable changes in the process. And so some of the features that are different with BIM 360 Glue compared to Navisworks Manage. First, it's cloud-based. With one click of a button inside of AutoCAD, Revit, or Navisworks, you can upload a copy of your model to the cloud. Once there, your model can be linked to other models and the coordination or clash detection process can begin. There's both a desktop and a mobile iPad app for Glue. This gives you the ability to view the model while at the job site or well, simply on your iPad or you can view it on your desktop at the office. Very important to point out though, you do not need Wi-Fi access to do this. This includes also simple but yet powerful markup tools. So as problems appear, you could easily note them on your iPad and share them with the construction team. And finally, a powerful feature is the ability to do clash detections in the cloud and then pinpoint those clashes inside of AutoCAD or Revit and exactly where they exist. This makes it easy to identify and then resolve for the engineers. Now let's take a look at BIM 360 layout. Now we, we can extend the benefits of BIM 360 glue by exposing our project model to our construction layout process, which increases productivity and reduces layout errors while, while helping clients save money. So we'll run through a workflow QAQC process using Autodesk Point Layout, or I should say BIM 360 Layout. As a general contractor, the process can be utilized for verifying staked locations created by the subcontractor at the job site. Any field deviation collected as points on the job site can then synced, be synced back into BIM 360 Layout app on the iPad, and then to BIM 360 Glue in the cloud, and then back to our model. So let's first discuss point creation. We can use Autodesk Point Layout from within AutoCAD, Revit, and Navisworks. We can lay out points, and they'll be defined with X, Y, Z coordinates, and assigned to embed locations, edge of slab, curtain walls, hangers, sleeves, stub ups. I can place points on anything in any of my authoring tools like CAD, Revit, and also Navisworks. Then I'll sync the project, I'll sync the point information, the project model to the cloud. Once points have been created in my model, they can be pushed up to BIM 360 Glue web service. Once in the Glue web environment, the points can be assigned to project team members as a work package for layout on the job site. Points in a work package can be filtered by location, by point type, and so on. And then it comes to layout points at the job site. As points are assigned through BIM 360 Glue, field layout teams can open up the points and the corresponding model on their iPad running BIM 360 Layout app. From here, the app connects to a TopCon LM100 total station, for example, for precise staking on the job site. Now, when it comes to the QAQC and as-built, 
layout points staked in the field or new as-built points collected from the field can then be synced back to BIM 360 Glue and then be brought back into our model for comparison and or creating an, an as-built model. So now that I've verified that there are deviations, I, I run a compare and I find out there are some deviations, those deviations can be assigned as a task to your subcontractor to resolve. By using BIM 360 field, you can track the progress while creating a digital record of the activity. So let's review the process here. Task creation created from field deviations. As we discover any sort of deviation in the field, we can now assign it to a task with either Revit, Navisworks, or AutoCAD. And using the Autodesk Point Layout plugin, we can create and assign those deviations and assign them to, to specific users within the BIM 360 field web environment. Once the task issues reside within BIM 360, BIM 360 field web environment, users in the field can execute against the task or the issue with the BIM 360 field iPad app and by syncing data down from the web environment. Once they resolve issues in the field, then that could all be sent back up to the cloud to field so that the project manager is able to then verify that the work has been done, it's complete, and then can close out the issue. Let's take a high level look at BIM 360 plan. BIM 360 plan brings order to the chaos of managing weekly work plans in, a, in spreadsheets and master plan printouts. This solution is designed to take advantage of lean construction principles. Using Last Planner system to create reliable and predictable work plans while reducing waste associated with labor, materials, and the process. Like the rest of the products in the BIM 360 platform, BIM 360 plan provides project teams extended collaboration through the web and mobile access to work plans and the task associated with them. Now let's take a high level look at BIM 360 field. BIM 360 field is our field management software for both 2D and 3D environments that combine mobile technologies at the point of construction with cloud-based collaboration and reporting. With decision making at the point of work, we can improve quality, safety, and profitability. Very important to point out that this can be used with both 2D and 3D environments. BIM 360 field is designed for the entire construction project team. Manage all documents, drawings, models, photos, manuals, and more. They're all at your fingertips. No more running back and forth to the job trailer. You'll have real-time accurate metrics to determine project performance through easy-to-read dashboards and even automatic reporting. BIM 360 field has both a desktop and a mobile app. So let's take a quick look at all the great tools that BIM 360 field provides to our construction team. To access files in the library, you simply browse to the library of documents, select the folder needed, then select the drawings to view. Here we could even be working in an offline or disconnected mode. You can work locally without the need to be connected to Wi-Fi or cell service to access your project data. An important feature of BIM 360 field is that you synchronize with the database and choose just the files you want or need in the field. This helps you provide this helps provide you with the right versions of the data at the right time. Again, no more running back and forth to the job trailer. All your drawings, all your specs can be placed here in the BIM 360 field library. You can access photos to verify, document, and inspect work in place. In addition, you have the ability to create markups by using various drawing tools, select different colors, and add notes. This photo here can now be attached to an issue. It's a great way to communicate to the necessary sub where the problem is, 
what it looks like, and what you need to have done to resolve the problem. BIN 360 field issues. BIN 360 field can help you log in, log, assign, and track items out in the field. So say you're walking out in the field and you notice a problem with a pipe. You can take a photo of the problem and immediately create and log an issue. It's as simple as filling out a form. Once complete, issues are automatically distributed to necessary subcontractors for resolution. With checklists, you can build any sort of checklist you want. We can show you how to convert your existing paper checklist or Excel checklist to BIM 360 field checklist. Field also has many checklists for, for use, which include quality assurance, quality control, safety, and even commissioning checklists. With the equipment function, records related to any piece of equipment or building component are available to the construction team. So with barcode scanning, field personnel can track delivery, track installation, track inspection, and quickly view any data associated with a specific piece of equipment. You can even update model objects in the BIM file with any data you specify from BIM 360 field. And finally, with daily updates, daily updates allows contractors to better manage the process of daily job site performance by providing a digital workflow that enables transparency of the collected information, which can be accessed by the team at any time. By trapping the information within the BIM 360 ecosystem, you can better understand and manage risk, as well as gain insight into trends and analytics that can expose root cause detail. And finally, BIM 360 Building Ops. Building Ops extends the value of the BIM data into the operations and maintenance phase of the building life cycle. It streamlines handover, limits warranty expense, and expand service offerings in a way that will have owners wanting your team for the next project. Building Ops is a mobile first maintenance solution that focuses on the needs of the mobile workforce and reduces the time and risk associated with deployment. It meets the needs of mobile stakeholders including managers, technicians, uh, building owners, and building occupants and it connects directly to the BIM asset data already being collected during design and during construction. Much of the data collected during construction with BIM 360 field is easily imported into Autodesk Building Ops. And looking at the image, we're just simply looking at Building Ops, which runs on your iPhone, and it has a very easy to use interface. Building Ops offers benefits for both building owners and general contractors. It improves the handover experience by delivering building operations data from BIM 360 field in a way that makes it immediately actionable and relevant. Makes it relevant in a way that it's, it's immediately um, available to anyone who has access to BIM 360 I'm sorry, uh, BIM 360 Building Ops. It enables owners to begin operations on day one with a turnkey maintenance and asset management solution. It offers a simple, a very simple and elegant uh, uh, interface and responsive web interface that meets the needs of the mobile maintenance workforce. And it helps contractors better service warranty requests and reduce expenses from unmaintained equipment. And with panoramic power, it makes predictive maintenance accessible to everyone. So what do I mean by panoramic power? Well, building ops can be connected to sensors like the ones made by panoramic power. Panoramic power makes self-powered wireless 
energy sensors. These sensors monitor the asset's energy use. Alerts are generated and they can create tickets in building ops when an asset's energy signature changes. Owners can then fix the asset before it fails. And I told you I had a video to show you exactly how BIM 360 and, BIM and building ops is used in the field. So this young lady just moved into a brand new building, just completed. And she finds that her bathroom exhaust fan does not work, so she pulls out her smartphone to log a ticket. She pulls up building ops application, and she accesses it to simply punch in the information that the fan's not working. The technician, because this is all cloud-based, gets an instant reactive ticket and he knows where she is and heads to her apartment to check out the problem. The contractor was savvy enough to use barcoding on their equipment, so the technician can quickly, using the iPhone, scan the barcode and quickly access information, including the BIM 360 glue model, the specifications, the O&M manual everything for this specific piece of equipment or this fan. The vendor of the fan can be brought up and using the feature on the smartphone, simply locate the phone number, press a button, and they can immediately contact the exhaust fan vendor on the spot. And if you're wondering how many people are actually using these solutions, well, this slide shows the use of BIM 360 in the construction industry. More and more contractors are realizing the benefits. And once they use this solution, they continue to use it. And here's a recent usage uh, chart as of January 2015. There are over 4.4 thousand active projects under management. There are over 23,000 active people in the BIM 360 system. And there are over 76,000 unique models currently being managed. What's also important to note is that over 50% of these people and companies are enterprise level customers. That means they can use BIM 360 on multiple projects instead of on a per project basis. Autodesk BIM 360 has seen success among contractors and construction management firms. As this graphic indicates, the platform also provides a great deal of value for architects and engineers, as well as other owners and developers. So I do want to point out this is very high level talking about all the different BIM 360 services that are available. We do have individual webinars on Live Lab Learning that you can search for on YouTube where we talk specifically about glue or field. And so it's important that you realize that there's much more to, to, our, to this webinar than what was presented. If you have any questions, you can always contact Zach Spillers and he can get a hold of me or anybody else on our team and we'll be happy to, to, to speak with you on a personal um, for a personal demo on solutions or tools that can best fit your company. Zach, are there any questions? Good deal. We do have a couple of questions, Mark. Um, okay. A question for you is, uh, what is the best feedback you've received from a subcontractor about BIM 360? Um, I, I'll tell you there there have been a couple comments. First of all, they like the fact that they're automatically notified when, when you're walking through the field and issues are created, you are required to fill in some key pieces of information such as, you know, um, the, the subcontract that needs to address this issue. And once you fill it in, let's say Don's drywall, for example, as soon as it's filled in and then you sync up your iPad and email is automatically sent to the subcontractor, but it's more than just an email with Outlook. They'll receive an email with, with a link to BIM 360 field 
that they access field and they will have all the information related to that particular issue. They'll have drawings, they'll have um, photos, they'll have markups. And so there's, and because that's all tracked inside a field, unlike Outlook where emails get lost, nothing will get lost inside of Bin360 field. Excellent, excellent. That's great info right there, Mark. Um, another question, up, but this is actually one, as say somebody's new to this, say somebody's new to the BIM 360 platform, if you will, what is, what is a good learning curve time or turnaround time that, uh, you, you know, that they could actually implement it on a specific project? Sure. Um, okay, but let's, uh, let's talk about uh, BIM 360 field. With BIM 360 field, for example, when we need to implement this with a general contractor, um, there's a lot of setup involved. So the first thing we do is we want to meet with the GC, find out what their, um, how they run their business, what types of, of forms that they use, and a lot of that information then has to be um, uh, brought into field and, and digitized or converted into a digital format so they're able to use it. So implementing it for a GC takes a little bit longer because there's some setup that we have to do. For subcontractors, literally, they're just going to training to learn how to use their iPad and access the project that they've been invited on. And so they have to learn how to uh, access their issues and then close their issues or, or mark their issues as being resolved. Um, so for different team members, it takes different time. For the GC, usually um, we'll have maybe two phone calls and then we will present to them how we're going to set up or how, how they should set up BIM 360 field. Um, for a subcontractor, normally it's just a, a half-day uh, training class on how to access the project. Um, for glue, glue it, it, that's your BIM team. And so with glue, there could be anywhere from half a day to a day of training for BIM 360 layout and um, Autodesk point layout. There could be half a day to a day of software training and then one to two days of robotic total station training. Um, building ops, it, there's no training involved with building ops. It's so easy to, to use. Um, so uh, they're actually, the, the, the learning curve is fairly short. It just requires some planning for, for some of them that we just need to help companies get set up. Absolutely. Awesome. Awesome. And that's... Those are those are all the questions that we have today um, okay. for the webinar. And um, you know, before you depart, I wanted to thank everybody for joining you today. And we, you know, we hope you found this uh, informative uh, to your business. And um, we look forward to seeing you guys at the uh, next webinar that we will be having. Oh, I'd say the one. I, I'm not sure when the next webinar is. Mark, do you have it in okay. front of you? Yep, yep. I'll bring that up right now. It's okay. right there. It is okay. Oops, did I miss it? Nope, right there. Yep, September sixteenth, uh, Wednesday, September sixteenth at twelve thirty to one thirty. Bim Facilities Management. We look forward to seeing you guys there. Great, and uh, thank you, thank you very much for everybody's time. Great, thanks everyone.